Good morning everyone, uh, welcome to the next Sunday School video on this Sunday morning. Uh, I hope you're all well and I've had a good week and I'm looking forward to uh, the next Sunday School story. Okay, so today uh, is Pentecost Sunday. Now that's seven Sundays, seven weeks after Easter and ten days after Jesus went up uh, to heaven. Okay, when we celebrate uh, when Jesus went back up to heaven. Okay, so today I want to tell you the story of Pentecost. Okay, now I wonder if you can remember what happened at Pentecost. Who can remember? What did Jesus send? Can anyone remember? I think they know. Well, it's the day when Jesus sent the disciples the Holy Spirit. Okay, so when Jesus was still with them, before he went back up to heaven, he told the disciples that he was going to go away, but that when he'd gone, he would send them a helper, uh, someone to come and help them in the mission that Jesus has set them. That's to tell everyone about him. Now, Jesus said that he had to go before they would get the Holy Spirit. And that was a good thing and it needed to happen. So Jesus went up to heaven, okay, and the disciples waited. So they waited and waited together for Jesus to send them the Holy Spirit. Okay, now, 10 days later, the day of Pentecost came and all the disciples were together. Okay, they're all together in a house waiting and being together as disciples. When suddenly, okay, there was a sound like the blowing of a wind that came from heaven. Imagine a massive wind and that we've had a lot of wind recently, haven't we? Even more powerful than that. Ah, that big violent wind came uh, and the whole house, they're in a house where they were sitting, it filled the whole of the house. That must have been amazing and probably quite scary. Then suddenly they saw what seemed like tongues of fire land on them, appear on them. Okay, and the most amazing thing happened to them. They started to speak in different languages, languages that they didn't even know. They only knew their own language. But they started speaking in other languages. Now this was the day that Jesus sent them the Holy Spirit. And what looked like tongues of fire that rested on them showed that they had been given the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit gave them the power to speak these other languages that they didn't know. And they started to speak and preach about Jesus in these other languages. Now. There were lots of people who heard and were watching. They came out to the balconies and started uh, preaching. These crowds were listening and, and they were hearing strange things because these people knew that the disciples were Galileans and knew what language they spoke. But they all spoke different languages and they were hearing their own language. The disciples were speaking in their own different languages and they heard all that they told them about Jesus. And these people were amazed. They were amazed at what they were hearing. Okay, they all came together and they were bewildered. They were wondering and amazed at what they were hearing. So some of the crowd were amazed. Some others, however, thought that they had to, were just being silly and had had too much to drink. But the crowd were amazed. And then Peter stood up. Peter stood up and started speaking to the crowd. And he said to the crowd why the Holy Spirit had come. He told them that the Holy Spirit was promised to all believers. Okay. And that Jesus had sent him to them. And now they were filled with the Holy Spirit. And then he started to tell them all about Jesus and about how Jesus had died and rose again uh, and took uh, and how all the Old Testament points to Jesus and how 
uh, Jesus took our sins on himself and how he sent the Holy Spirit. And then he said that anyone who believes in Jesus will also receive the Holy Spirit. Wow, isn't that amazing? And on that day, loads of people believed in Jesus. The Bible says that 3,000 people came to believe in Jesus that day. That's amazing, isn't it? Wow. So Peter said that anyone who believes will receive the Holy Spirit. So that means I have the Holy Spirit. I have God's Spirit in me. That means if you guys believe, you also have the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit came to help uh, the believers to do the mission, to tell people about Jesus. So the Holy Spirit helps us, helps us to follow Jesus and helps us to tell other people about Jesus. Jesus sent the Holy Spirit to his disciples, his followers, to help them tell the truth about Jesus. And if we are Jesus' followers, we have the Holy Spirit too, to help us tell our friends about Jesus. And we just need to ask for that help. We have the Holy Spirit and we just need to ask him to help us to live for Jesus, to live well for Jesus and to, to do that by telling people about Jesus and we can be so excited that God that Jesus has given this amazing gift to us of the Holy Spirit to help us live for him and that's amazing isn't it so if you believe in Jesus if you're a believer today you're a Christian that means you have the Holy Spirit that's God's spirit in you that's amazing isn't it well let's thank God for that now okay let me pray dear God thank you so much uh, that you promised the Holy Spirit to your disciples and when you'd gone back to heaven you sent them uh, the Holy Spirit. We thank you that we all who believe in you also have the Holy Spirit. Help us to remember this amazing gift and to ask uh, for your help when we tell people about Jesus and when we live for you. I pray this in Jesus name. Amen. Well I hope you all have a really good uh, Sunday uh, and I'll see you all and next week.